The next thing I want to do is combine all the best parts of my vocal takes into one master take, and this is called comping. It's short for a compilation of takes. You can use this technique for any time you record multiple takes. So how do we do that? The first thing I want to do is change the way the takes are displaying. Show takes and lanes is great when you're tracking and it's the default behavior, but it's difficult to see any detail like this. So I'm going to turn it off using Control L or Command L. Now we can see the take number and the top of the media item before the take name. The takes still keep their colors, so if take two is green, it will stay green. As the vocal doesn't particularly fall on the grid, it's best to turn off snapping. You can use a shortcut of Alt S or Option S to do that, or you can click on the magnet icon in the main toolbar. Turning this off lets us split up the media items anywhere we want. Comping can be a time consuming process, or you can do it pretty quickly. It really depends on how much detail you want to get into. So the way we're going to look at this is to split up the vocal with the sections of the song. Kind of a slice and dice technique, where we can choose a different vocal take for each slice independently. So let's do that. So we'll place the playhead in the spaces between the sections of the song, making sure the vocal is selected, and hit the S key to split the vocal. We'll start here, between the first and second verse. I'm going to zoom in, just using the scroll wheel. and. I can see that the vocal is selected. I'm going to hit S. I'm going to click over here, right between the first two and the first chorus. Holding Option or Alt and scrolling will let you scroll through the timeline. So I'm going to be doing that quite a bit. Uh, here we go. Put a split here. The end of that. Do one there. Here and there and there. And there we go. So now the vocal take is split up into the different parts of the song. So I liked the first verse from take two. So let's go over to the first verse, zoom in. I see I've got take three up. Now, how do I get to the other takes? Well, all you need to do is hit the T key on your keyboard and to cycle through the takes. There we go. Take two. Verse two. I like take three, so I'll leave that as is. I'm going to hold Alt and do my scroll here. For the chorus, I'm going to go back to take two. And we can go through the rest of the song, choosing which parts we like best. Now, we could get more detailed. At the end of the second verse, I like the last word of take one. So let's see if we can split the file and put that in. So second verse, the last word of take one. So I'm looking at these waveforms and I can see that each sort of big blob usually refers to a word. I'm going to listen though, just to make sure I'm in the right spot. Old ways. Yeah, old ways. So I'm going to solo that, clicking the solo button. Listen to it one more time. Old way. Right. So let's try this. So I'm going to put my playhead here. I'm going to hit S. So I've split that. Now I'm going to go to take one for the word way. Let's take a listen to that again. Old way. Yeah, there's something I like the breath at the end of that, but it does sound like a bit of an edit. So I'm going to go in. Put my cursor here, right on the edit point, and I'm going to do a crossfade. So I want to grab, this is one of those times where you have to be very careful about which tool you're actually using. So I want to see that shape so I can extend that media item over into this one. Now we'll zoom out, unsolo that, and we're going to take a listen again. Say, oh. You could see how you could get really carried away and get really detailed in choosing which parts of which takes you're going to use for which words. So comping parts doesn't need to be left until editing. If you're thinking it would be a good idea to do this when the vocal's fresh in your mind, you're absolutely right. 
You can certainly do this as soon as you're finished recording the vocal. You may even find there are lines that you're not happy with in any of the takes and decide to do an auto punch on those while you're still in the zone. Your workflow is up to you. If you're asking yourself, how do I know which takes to choose? Well, don't worry. There are no wrong answers. Choose the takes you like best. If you can't decide or if you can't hear the difference, it doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm going to go through the rest of the vocal to choose the takes I like best. All right. Now that I've gone through and chosen all the parts of the vocal I like best, I would like to save this comp. With the comp saved, I'll be able to try out different vocal comps and always come back to the one I liked. I won't have to remember that verse one was from take two and all that kind of stuff. It all gets saved in there. So the way we do this is we make sure our vocal track is selected and we need to select all the items we want to be part of this comp. And a quick way to do that is just go Control shift a or command shift a on a Mac to select all the items on the track. When they're all selected, you right click, go to comps, save as new comp. And I'm going to call this Michael's comp. You can call it anything you want. Just name it something that makes sense to you. So now if we decide to change anything, or maybe I want to try out a different comp, I can always come back to that one. In fact, I'll show you right now. If, for example, I decided that I actually really preferred take three for the first verse, I could do this again. Again, making sure I've got the track selected. Command Shift A or Control Shift A. Right click, comps, and I could save as new comp. I could call it different first verse. Now, when I'm going through this, select my items, and I have the option to go to Michael's comp, which brings back take two here, or different first verse. And you can see how, if you were making a bunch of smaller changes, how that could really make a difference to your workflow. So now you know how to comp your vocals and save that comp for later use.